So let's let's go down the list here really quickly, shall we? In the UK, you can get put in jail for flipping off a traffic cam. You can get put in jail, pay fines for a meme. You can get arrested for buying a kitchen knife or carrying a screwdriver. And now your baby who needs help can be murdered by the state. And yes, I said murdered. Not only did a baby die, the state, the hospital, the state-run hospital, the state-run healthcare system let the baby die, forced the baby to die, refused to give treatment to a baby when others wanted to, when other countries wanted to, when the Pope, when Italy stepped in and made this baby a citizen, a citizen of Italy, and said, please, let us take the baby to help the baby. We believe we can help the baby. They had a helicopter parked on top of the hospital for days, for days, waiting to transport this baby somewhere where it could get some kind of help. The hospital, the state, the healthcare system, the court system said no, no. Not only did they say no, but they insisted upon it. They insisted that the parents couldn't even take the baby home, much less get treatment that could have helped. The baby had been in a semi-vegetative state. They didn't know what was wrong with it. They decided to pull the plug against the parents' wishes. The state did. The state decided to pull the plug on the baby. And guess what? The baby still lived. And the parents begged and pleaded and went to court to please let us take the baby somewhere else where they will try and give the baby additional treatment. The court said no. The state said no. The healthcare system said no. The hospitals, the doctors, they all said no because they knew better. It just wasn't worth it. Trying to save a life? Nah. It's not worth the time. It's not worth the effort. But more than that, because they didn't have to do anything other than just step back and let somebody else come in and take care of the problem. No, they actively fought against it. They murdered baby Alfie. That's what the UK did. The state, the hospital, the doctors, the courts, the healthcare system. They murdered a baby. And surprise, surprise, this is not the first time this type of thing has happened. This is what government-run healthcare gets you. Remember when they, they said we were just, oh, we were just fear-mongering when we talked about death panels? When it came to single-payer systems, how there would have to be panels of people that got together to decide who lives and who dies? Here's your example of it. You say you want a healthcare system like the UK? Death panels. And where's all the pro-choice organizations, right? Huh? You should definitely be pro-choice about this. The baby is born. Doesn't the mother have a choice to save her baby's life? She wanted to. Aren't you all about being pro-choice? Or are you really just about killing babies? In that case, you're probably on the side of this incident. Same side as the doctors and the healthcare system and the state and the courts. Go ahead, murder the baby. Even though it was already born. Even though other people, other countries wanted to help, were willing to help, were trying to help. Look, I know not everybody in the UK is bad. I've talked to many people from the UK, from all over the world because of my YouTube channel, and there's a lot of good people there. But to the UK as a whole, to your justice system, to your court system, your healthcare system, your doctors, your hospitals, your lawmakers, go fuck yourself.